What is up guys, how's it going? Don't go that way. My name's Jackal, and welcome to the channel, or welcome back. We're back here with more Secret of Mana with Saiken Densetsu 2. And, um, uh, last time we were just doing a little bit of magic grinding for the whole episode, as fun as that always is, and today we're gonna finish it up and then be done. Then go see what shit Sage Jacques has going on over there. So yeah, let's get this started. All we have to do now is get Shade up to level 3, and we're good. Okay, that's not how I wanted to start that. So all we gotta do is this, and then we're gonna go see what's up. Thanks, I love it when you do that. Perfect. You have the perfect kind of magic spell here. One that I can just spam like this. For 2 HP. Or MP. You know, I wonder if it would be better always going with the fastest spell, even if that was more of an MP drain. You know what I mean? With, like, Seal Fit instead of using the Air Disc, Destructo Disc, whatever it is. What do we got? Ooh, doggy. There we go. That is a pretty cool move. Like I said a couple videos ago, I always like when, uh, Darkness is treated in games like an element. Did that not kill it? I think it did, but it didn't make the splat sound. <coughs> it made just like a damage sound. Hmm. Oh well. So, today we're going to do a little bit of ranting. Because tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. So, uh, what was it? Friday? Today's Monday. So, three days ago. My son had a seizure at school for the first time. Not like just at school. I mean, like, it was, he, he's never had a seizure before. We think maybe when he was younger, he may have had one, but we know at the time, just because of what was going on, that it was due to him being completely overheated. And, you know, we did everything that we were supposed to medically, you know, contact doctor, blah, 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 blah. But this is the first one where he's had where it was like a, a proper seizure. So, he has it. And, you know, my, se my secondary partner, my, my other girlfriend, she has, uh, she has, uh, epilepsy. So, and she's worked a lot of childcare jobs, a lot of elderly assistance programs. She's worked a lot of jobs like that. So she knows about what is supposed to be going on when it comes to, you know, emergency medical procedures. And the school, I guess, when my son had his seizure, they waited nine minutes to call the EMTs. Nine minutes after my son had a seizure, a child with no history of having them. Because when I, when I was a lifeguard, when I was a martial artist instructor, you know, we, we had to do, um, like, medical seminars, um, like, once a year, CPR training, all that kind of shit. We had to deal with stuff like this. 
And um, we were always taught now, maybe, maybe in the last eight years since I did this last, maybe things have changed. No, you know what? I, I was working as a school bus driver. No, we would have been going over the same things up until then. So uh, now I'll change it. Maybe in the last four years, something has changed that I don't know about. But I don't think it has in this way. We were always taught that if somebody has a seizure, unless you find out that they have a history of, especially, you know, in martial arts where, you know, you're, they're signing waivers of, you know, prior medical conditions. So you'll have information on the child that, you know, there's a possibility of them having a seizure. When you know a child, or I guess an adult as well, when you know that this person has a history of seizures, the appropriate response is to follow whatever protocol that is. Somebody who is has um, a habit of having them, the procedure might be just as easy as put something under their head so they don't, you know, smack their head while they're shaking or anything like that. Just keep them safe and then they'll have their seizure and then things will be relatively fine afterwards. But if a person has no history of having seizures, you are supposed to immediately call the emergency medical service. According to my partner, the time frame is supposed to be two minutes. Two minutes to call EMS. They increased the... They... they it was 450% longer for them to call the ambulance than it should have taken. I, I don't even know what to say about that. And not only that, when he was having it, they called up my, my primary partner, they called up his mother. They call her up and ask, Hey, uh, your son had a seizure. Can you come pick him up and transport him to the medical facility? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe a school having the nerve to ask a parent to come pick up their kid after having a seizure instead of calling the EMS. Even the, even the EMS got there and they had said that the school waited too long to do it. So, last week... On Monday was my birthday. On Tuesday, my secondary partner is walking with my daughter in a parking lot, holding her, carrying her, and she gets hit by a car while holding my daughter. And then sixty sixty six hours later, not even three days later. Luckily, you know, my daughter was fine. She walked away with a fucking glorified bump on her head. But, like, something like that happens where I have somebody hit my partner and my child in a vehicle. And then 66 hours later, my son's school sees him having a seizure and then doesn't immediately call the emergency services. I basically am finding out whether or not I'm going to be suing two different people and entities in the near future. Like I'm beyond, I'm, I don't even know what to say. And I mean, I'm making my secondary partner call the school because since she knows the actual medical procedure that a school is supposed to be going with, she knows more on like an actual She knows more on a procedural level what was supposed to be done and what the school was lacking. Ooh, come in the screen. Come get some of what I got over here.
But no, I, I for real don't even know what nerve any school official would have calling a parent after their child has a seizure and telling them to come pick up their kid. Like, bro, what in the fuck? Again, a child who had no history of having them. It'd be different if the child, you know, if we know if the child has a history of it. I don't know. I have to now find out if I'm going to be fucking suing the goddamn school district. Like, I need to know exact. I want to know exactly how badly they fucked this up. Nine, almost ten minutes after a child having a seizure, you wait to call the EMTs. I don't. I was so angry all of Friday and Saturday. And the thing is, is because, you know, I'm, and I'm, we're still now because luckily my son tomorrow morning has an appointment to get an EEG done on his head. I think EEGs are always on the head. I think that's kind of redundant, but he's getting some sort of scan done on his head. So we're going to find out, hopefully, if this is going to be a reoccurring issue or was it, you know, was it just an off event? Like, I can feel my heart starting to beat faster just talking about this now. Perfect. There we go. We are all leveled up. For splat. Now let's just get our MP back, save up the game, and call Flamey. But yeah, no, because of all the worrying with my son, I haven't even had time to be, like, properly angry about the school fucking up. And that's also why I need my partner to call, because if I talk to somebody at the school, it's going to get not nice, and I don't want to be accused of being irate with school officials. Even though I feel... I feel like I would be in every single right to be irate with anyone right now at that school. Okay, I gotta remember how to control flame here. Alright, I don't remember exactly where in the world we're going. Isn't there a map somewhere? Oh no, 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 not at this. I mean, I guess this that'll this will help. Okay, just head solid east. Shall we get over here? We should be able to head south. This isn't it. What is this? Whatever it is, I'm not allowed there. Oh, that's probably the fucking... That's the... No? No? And I don't know what that was. Alright, now let's check our weapon levels because we haven't... Alright, now give him back the... Whip here. What is your thing on the javelin? 
Still got a bit. And then you got... You're using the spear, right? Okay, you got a while. Got him. Yeah, man, so I don't know. Just frustrated. I wonder if I could have actually landed right there at Jacques' place. I think we got the level 42 status. Please say I can hit above me with this. Damn. At least now I'm actually using the whip. When I got a traverse here. Oh, la, 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 la. Bro, this level... Okay, I was about to say. That level 5 shit is lasting forever, dog. <laughs> oh, bro got hit with the three piece. Whip needs to reach level 6, though. I was going to say, he's going to die before I get a chance to even fucking hit him. Boo. Oh, don't I have to fight the doppelgangers now? Neko doesn't appear till you fucking leave. Or till you get past him. Asshole. Asshole. You, asshole. For the Golden Isle, northeast of here. Now I feel like you're just taking the piss. And I don't need that sort of piss taken in my life. Ooh, I hate you. I miss and then just a little spear tap kills you. Call Flamey so we can go to northeast of here. <laughs> no. Yep, I see the glint. I see the glint. This is definitely, from what I remember, another empire controlled area. This island sinking under the weight of the gold. Many have left here and gone north to the ice country. What up? The Empire's Gold City. Seems a bit... Small peepee? 
What did you say? I barely paid attention. Beyond is the gold tower. No one may enter. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, my friend. But there is going to be very little you can do to stop me. Once this engine gets going, we off. We got a cafe at least. King Manmon sealed off the light palace at the edge of town. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnica. Caught him in South Town, but the key was never found. God damn, you're going to make me run all the way back. Okay, so if we don't find anything here, Tasnica is where we're going to have to go at some point. <clears throat> but that definitely means that Sage Jock is just sending me to the fucking palaces. Which, I don't feel like he needed to do. A unicorn helm, that sounds... Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh Lord, have mercy. One, two. All right, time to sell. My, my stuff might start getting to be expensive enough that we gotta sell first. Sell first before buy. There we go. Get all that fresh money. Not back. There we go. We are stacked and stocked and rip roaring. Ready to go. There we go. Quack. There we go. Outfitted with the latest stocks and wares. The king lives here, and the first floor is a hotel. Jesus Christ. These are some actual cold diggers. Christ Almighty, what is going on here? So is this an alchemy thing? Is that how we got here? Turning everything to gold? Alright, well... 
seems like there's going to be some spell on him that I'll just naturally break by doing whatever it is that I'm doing here. Well, it's nice to know we have found El Dorado, the city of gold. Where did he find it? Oh, I don't believe he found it, fam. Damn! What am I saying? I don't want to deal with you. Well, fuck you. Holy shit. Wow. Old bitch. Tell that woman she is an asshole. Watts, my friend, did it, is there anything I need from you anymore? No, I don't believe so. Yeah, no, 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 we're all good. Just had to check real quick. Do, 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 do. We just have this cool little area for me to walk into for no reason. Okay. Alright, well, that is everything. I guess let's go stay at the inn. Save it up, and next time we play, we'll see what's going on at either the Light Tower or Tasnica or wherever it is we gotta go in order to get what we need. So we'll figure it out. We always do. So, yeah, till next time, guys. Now it's going to be time for me to watch some One Piece. And then probably, will I play Breath of Fire today? Probably. I might have time for it. But, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.